We start today's function by exercising evaluating function calls um, and with a particular emphasis in uh, arithmetic expressions just because it's not just important because it shows up in your homework assignment but also because we will need to understand how to implement them so it's very important to understand the subtleties of it so this was the last exercise that we saw um, where we had a, a function call here as we know parentheses in record mean calling a function and then the first parameter is what function we're calling and then all the then separated by spaces you will or white spaces which includes uh, new line characters you will write the arguments and in this case the first argument is a literal a number uh, and then it's another function call so parenthesis again in function call function that we're call, calling again is multiplication we're passing two parameters to it and the way evaluation works is from left to right um, and when a value is a literal you just return that value and when all arguments are values uh, then we are ready to perform the the operation right so in this case um, this sub expression is not a value because it's an it's a, a function call um, and because it's not because it is a, a sub expression it needs to be evaluated any further first one is already evaluated we evaluate the second one um, then recursively we go through the second one what we see is that both of its arguments 10 and 10 are both literals so they are values they're not um, composite expressions so we can evaluate uh, we can multiply 10 by 10 and we get 100 so at this stage we now have a function that is ready to be evaluated a function call sorry um, so in this case first argument is a, a number so a value and the second argument is also a number so a value um, and therefore we are ready to multiply and the result is a number again so nothing too surprising um, so now let's try to do this bigger example as we can see uh, this is something that will show up in your homework assignment you will get a mathematical expression where the, the dot here means multiplication as you would expect uh, and this is a fraction as you would also know so the way we represent this would be well you have this plus that matches here and then uh, you have this plus that matches this plus and then you have this sub expression then we have this sub expression and then we have a minus which represents this minus and then we have 3 divided by 9 and in the homework assignment this is not the literal number 3 ninths it's it's really to write a division of 2 by 9 and finally 14 multiplied by 3 which is what you have here so I'm not going to go into many details about like the homework assignment because I'm going to dedicate a video just for that. So for now, let's just focus on the exercise at hand. Um, so as you know, we're going to evaluate left to right, which here um, it's going to be first argument is going to be this one, second argument is going to be this one, okay? and only after the first argument becomes a value, aka a number can we evaluate the second argument which in this case is a minus a function call to minus okay so let's see how this unfolds um, we start with a you do kind of like a depth, you do a depth first search and this is the the first expression you get and as you can see in this sub expression right so what you do is is this um, expression ready to evaluate no why because the first argument is a composite expression it's a function call okay so is this that comp that uh, expression ready to evaluate and we see that no because one of its arguments is in another expression so is this expression ready to evaluate um, yes why because both of its arguments are values so literal numbers um, and it, and when that happens what we do is we perform the multiplication so in the first step of evaluation we just evaluate this expression alone we don't we don't evaluate anything else and we're done 
This is the first step of evaluation. Then what we're going to do is perform this the same idea again. Is plus ready to evaluate? No. Why? Because its first argument is not ready to evaluate. Is the first argument ready to evaluate? No, because, well, first one is ready, but the second one is not. So this whole expression is not because the second argument is not ready. Okay, is the second argument ready to evaluate? Yes. Why? Because both arguments are value. So if you do that, you get this expression. And now the first, now you go back into the beginning, right? So is plus ready to evaluate? No. Why? Because first argument is not ready to evaluate. Is that ready to evaluate? Yes, because both of his arguments are ready to evaluate. And so on. So you do that uh, left to right. And if we unfold everything, we would get all these subs all these steps, which amount to each sub-expression being evaluated down to the last uh, final value. One thing I would like you to notice is the difference between um, this step and the resulting expression. As we've seen in Racket, literal numbers have um, fractions in them, or rational numbers, right? So if you write 3, the, this is the expression dividing 3 by 9, and this is the literal 1 third, okay? So if I were to write um, 1 third, right, and I call racket, oops, I need to save, of course, I get 1 third here. And if I do 1 divided by 3, oops, um, I get the literal 1 3. So these two things are different. The first one is a value. The second one is an expression. Okay. So in the, in the, in the slides, what we have is three ninths. So three ninths. Um, which, as you know, if we evaluate that, you get the, the um, fraction is simplified. Right. Um, but nothing is being computed. Whereas here, you do have an expression that needs to be evaluated. So this is basically what's going on, and from this step to the second one, again, we have um, a literal, that is minus 125 divided by 3. Um, then I want, so this is basically, I would advise you guys to kind of take one of these examples and try to do it yourselves. I mean, you will have to do it for the homework assignment. So, um, so now I ask you, is this a valid racket program? So this would be a good time for you to kind of first think about it. Um, think about all the exercises we did before. Um, pause this video and if it try to answer it. So I'll give the answer in a couple of seconds. Okay, so in this case, um, we've seen how to call values. And we actually saw examples where we just wrote plus, right? The example was uh, exactly this one, uh, where we wrote 1 divided by 3. And maybe now you have a better understanding of what's going on. So when we run this example, the last one, right? So let me comment out everything before that. So if I run this, I get 1, then I get this procedure, and then I get 3 right? Uh, why? Because this is not a function call, and this is also not a literal. For it to be a literal, you would need to remove the parentheses, and for this to be a function call, you would need to write uh, it like so. Right? So when we write it separately, what Racket sees, it sees three expressions, where first one is a, the value 1, second one is the function division, and the third one is the value 3. And that's why you see 1, and then function which in racket is known as procedure and then three so is just writing division valid yes it just returns procedure three right because each of the expressions were being um, evaluated separately from each other they are completely unrelated they just so happen to be all in the same file so um okay so we covered this example and uh, finally, I just wanted us to take a step back and recall what we know about Racket as a programming language. So we know that a program, uh, you need to write the pound lang and then Racket. 
and then you have zero or more expressions. And then we saw that an expression is either a value, right, a variable, or a function call. So we know that, you know, all um, values are expressions, but not all expressions are values. So for instance, a variable is not an express, is not a value, sorry. And a function call is also not a value. So what is a value? A value is just numbers for now. Um, and the function call is anything that has parentheses around it. Uh, and that's the only place where you can use parentheses. Uh, and then you have one or more expressions. So you can have uh, variables there, as we've seen, like when we do division of two by three, um, and we can have values and so on. But we need to have at least one, so just empty parentheses is an error. Okay, so in the next uh, video, we're going to cover logic.